Welcome to Weatherproof, the show that pits man's best efforts against nature's fury. Meteorologist Stephanie Abrams has been interviewing Mother Nature for years and is always ready for the next encounter. Newton Weimer, part motorhead, part mad scientist, will try to replicate the worst weather possible. Together, they'll find out just how well certain products stand up to nature's destructive forces. That's pretty much what it feels like to be in a hurricane. Hey, Newton, how was the rain? Oh, it's like little babies in my face. Oh, and that was only a low-end category one. Now toss it flying debris at 80 miles an hour. My winds are not the only danger during a hurricane. When bad weather strikes, we rely on certain products to keep us safe, but are those products up to the challenge of extreme conditions? We're about to find out. We have our basic looking window here, but our not so basic looking house holding this window in place. But it's a basic pane glass window, double insulated, and we're going to give this as a starting point for all our other windows that we're going to put in here and test with the wind and debris. If you live in hurricane prone areas, you should absolutely not have these windows. But a lot of people that live across the country Newton, do have these windows. And even just a basic thunderstorm can give you very strong winds and very heavy rain. Will this even be able to hold up to that? Well, that's what we're going to test today. We're going to run those types of winds and that kind of debris. So we'll find out. All right, let's do it. This is the equipment we're going to use to create our high-speed wind. Essentially, it's a 600-horsepower fan. The same type of equipment used in a swamp boat or swamp buggy, except ours uses a hydraulic panning device. We can pan and tilt it wherever we want. We're going to put water in front to simulate rain in a hurricane. We're inside our house, if you will, to show you what it will be like when the rain, the wind, and the debris comes busting through our window. We've set it up with things that you would have in a house, a bookshelf, we have a painting here, and so we have cameras inside. You can see exactly what it will be like when the debris comes in because a lot of people sit by their windows and watch hurricanes happen, but it could be very dangerous. And we have a little volunteer to show you how dangerous it could get. Good luck, Fred. A tropical storm becomes a category one hurricane when the winds reach 74 miles an hour. That's enough to uproot trees and down power lines. We have our double pane glass here. Noon, we're going to test it with just rain and wind. Hit it. All right, Let's fire it up. The window vibrates and flexes from the wind and rain, but is just able to stay intact. So our window here got a little wet, got a little rain, got a little wind, but as you can imagine, it held up. It should hold up when you just have rain and wind. Not a whole lot happened to this window, but the question is, will it hold up when we launch some soft debris at it? To get debris to a high velocity, the weatherproof team will use air cannons to move an object at speeds close to 100 miles per hour. First up, a soft option in the form of synthetic mulch. did not expect the mulch and the wind to do this to a double pane window, but you can see how dangerous it can get. All these sharp edges and glass flying everywhere. Those could become daggers. This is laminate glass. It's like a front windshield of a car. You have the glass, you have a membrane in between it, which this is a plastic type membrane. It's supposed to help keep the glass when it breaks from falling down. It keeps the, the wind from blowing into the house and destroying them. All right, so what are we going to launch at this thing? Some pots to see yeah, how it Yeah, we have some up? flower pots. We have some marbles that are just going to represent miscellaneous debris flying through the air to see if we can break the glass and see that membrane actually work. And this should totally hold up under those types of debris. Yeah, that should be fine. Three, two, one. Success? For now, at least. Oh, that, man. I don't even think it caused a dent on that thing. <laughs> the brittle flower pot virtually turned to dust upon impact, leaving a clear view through the window. Is there even a crack? No. No. Just a little bit of a scratch. A little scratch. Nothing. How yeah, about that, another pot? Yeah, we could try something else to bump it up, but this goes to show how much stronger, because the laminate's in there, that even the glass doesn't want to break just because it's so firm. Let's we try can crack more. it up. Let's do it more. 
noon. Now we're on to flower pot number two, but you've cranked up the strength a little bit more. How much more? 20% faster. Do you think that this is going to go through the laminate glass? Let's, Let's see what out. happens. All right, ready? Give us a count. Three, two, one. Like an industrial magic trick, the flower pot vanishes in a puff of smoke. I don't think it's broken. I'm impressed. I thought it would have broke. Just a few really scratches, did. but that's all that it got on the window. Got one hit here. Might have stressed it a little bit. Another hit here, and it's faster. It's some pretty tough stuff. This is our first time testing this product, but just a hunch, I thought it would have broke it for sure. All right, can we do more? So the two flower pots did nothing to the window, which I was shocked by. That was pretty awesome to see. So now we're going to throw some marbles at the window and see if that's going to bust this thing at all, even scratch it, anything. I mean, that clay pot did nothing but get it dirty. Let's see what it does, Noon. You ready? All right. Yeah, you got the three, two, one. Count? I got it. Here we go. All right, let it rip. In three, two, one. <laughs> Woo! Nothing. Shut out yet again. Newton, nothing. I mean, maybe a few nicks, but nothing. Look at that. You can't even see where the marbles hit it. That's solid right there. That's one solid window. You Stand back. I want to give this a little All test right. of my let own. Me, let me get, let me get, Watch your just eyes. in case. Newton. Oh, oh, a little heart. Can I try one? Can that I was give pretty it a strong. Hit? Let's see if a girl can do it. Let me try it here. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there, oh, there, there we go. go. There we go. Foul ball. One. This All stuff's right. pretty tough. It is tough. Surprise. It might be broken, but Newton, it really is not penetrated. I mean, you know, the glass is just broken. That's it. Yeah, there's no hole right here. Well, I think I got something for I this. I can get through this? You think so? Yeah, I think I got a good idea. All right, I can't wait to see it. All right. That laminate glass was very impressive. After seeing the pain in the tempered glass, we shot the marbles at it. We also shot that pot at it. They did nothing until Newton took that bar and whacked on that window, but it didn't even penetrate the window. So the house would still be just as safe.